Welcome back to Parents of the Dead. The very ninth episode. Very nice. And um, yeah, let's just dive straight into it. Yep. Uh, because last time you had a very good point, I think, and that is moving as much logic goes away from the client and especially the components as possible. Yes. And the result was that we ended up with this cube class. Very nice. And editing the video afterwards, <laughs> <laughs> I sort of, uh, I found an abomination. Oh no. And the reason I call it an abomination is because it's like a remnant from before mm -hmm. where we had status, status, mm -hmm. and this isn't status anymore. This is actually cube class, a uh, die class. Die class, right. You have cube class and die class. Yeah. And, and it's, well, um, this is dum dum specific, our rendering library, but it can take keywords or strings. Mm -hmm. And you see this here because that's a keyword and this one's a string. Mm -hmm. That's okay. And you see it here. And these are keywords <laughs> and strings and are also used as a class. Oh, right. So it's, there's a face class. It's actually a, a, a list of classes, yeah. which is also accepted by dum dum. Mm -hmm. In case you were, uh, I, in case you were like wondering about that as the listener. And there are more things, and this is why I call it an abomination, because we forgot to take the current face away. It's no longer used. Mm -hmm. So let's get, let's first of all, get rid of that. Mm -hmm. And I realized since this is prepared uh, completely or fully for the client, we don't need this ID either. No. We can, so we can clean this up a little bit before we move on, I think. Yep. Sure. So I would like there to be no ID because it's not used. Okay. I would like the status to be the die class. The die class, yeah. And we do need the current face. I think no, no. There's no for, there's no need for the current face because it's it's here. This is the current face. It's yeah, entering right. Too. It's here. Yeah. And then uh, what 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 do you think about face classes? <laughs> yeah, it's it's. Faces is okay. Faces is okay. Faces is okay. But yeah. I need, I want to do one more thing. And this might be like, um, I want it to be like this. Okay. <laughs> so uh, yeah. I, I think it, this it is looks a little bit prettier. A little bit prettier. Yeah, yeah it's okay. okay. It's fine. So uh, here we go. Uh, does it run? No. Yep. Or it runs, but it uh, also it, fails. It also fails. So uh, where were we? This is in. Uh, uh, event actions add dice. Yeah, and look, it, we're we're updating the faces and one and so on. I think we should actually just create a new map. It's add the add dice. dice. Yeah, it's this function here, mm -hmm. right? It's just where I started. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so status is now die class. I think maybe just create a map. At this point, we are no longer using anything from the oh, original. Right. I understand what you mean. Okay, so we have faces, which is. Uh, uh, the function mm -hmm. is um, the faces from the are ah. die. <laughs> I want it to be dying. <laughs> it dies. It uh, dies. Uh, and then we have um, a die class, which is um, I don't know. Yeah, in my test, it's a keyword. Yeah. Uh, in your test, it was a keyword. Mm -hmm. um, Let's go for this. Mm -hmm. Use a string, and then finally we have uh, our cube class, mm -hmm. which will look like this. Yeah, and then you have to update the render faces so it just flips the string in the keyword. Yeah, right. Like that, and then still okay. fails. Let's take a look at it. So it says uh, entering to oh. uh, actual... It's the dying class, didn't you? I didn't evaluate it, I think. Mm -hmm. Aha, there we go. So it's green. Yeah, excellent. And then the component needs to be fixed a little bit. Yeah, because it's a status, which is, it's no longer status. It's a um, die class. It's a die class. And then it uh, should look nice still. It does. It still looks nice. That's very nice. Um, so now the abomination has been slain. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. <laughs> yes. There are blood on my hands. <laughs> on both our hands. Yeah. <laughs> Which but, comes yeah. with the show. But this is very good. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more straightforward, just uh, UI rendering data now. Mm. So that's good. Okay. So the next thing I was thinking about was re-rolling. Mm -hmm. So you should be able to like keep some of these dies and then re-roll the rest 
Yeah. To collect the things that you're looking for. Do you want to start by locking dice that you want to keep, or do you want to start by uh, re-rolling all of them? Uh, it's very good fun to see dice roll, so we'll start by re-rolling all of them, I think. Okay. Yeah. So if we find our DOM structure, it says... Um, it's in the dice row, I think. Dice row here. And um, so it has die with lock, die spacing, and then re-rolls. Mm. Okay, so we have to have some re-rolls to use from, I guess. Yeah, let's... Because they can because, be used. Yeah, we can start by just rendering the re-rolls, maybe. Yeah. But uh, how will the client know to render rerolls? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, we will need an initial event in the game uh, yep. namespace where we set the player rerolls. Yeah. Uh, here, maybe? Yeah. Set um, player rerolls, and you can start with two, maybe? Two sounds good. Yeah. Um, there's no tests for this, so that's okay. Uh, and then next up will be the actionizer then. Mm -hmm. So we'll write a test for that. I, I just copied a whole lot of bunch of stuff that I don't need. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rerolls with just two L's. And then it says set player rerolls to. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to go uh, a search in player rerolls. And then we probably want to know both how many you have and how many you've spent on the client. I think on the client we were just uh, have a list of uh, rerolls and okay, if they're yeah. used or not. Yeah, so it's going to be like this. Uh, used, false, or maybe just... <laughs> yeah, I, I, this seems... I'm not, I'm not sure. It, this, is, this is sort of uh, just me thinking out loud, but it seems like it's lacking some information. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. But um, so eventually uh, they'll have some actions, I guess. Something that happens when you click them. Yeah, that's true. So, but for now, it'll just be empty maps, just to give us some placeholders to render something. That's true, because we already know they are, in fact, rerolls due to the placement. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So they're just nothing right now. Mm -hmm. And that test is failing. Mm -hmm. Let's see. That's your task then. I will, I will do it with joy and the pleasure. That's <laughs> uh, no, not the one I wanted. I wanted this one. Set player rerolls and some N. Mm -hmm. And I will keep up the... Overachiever. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's see. And we will do this. Yeah. And then it's uh, green and happy, but there's a red line here. Yeah, because so you're I'll, not using the N, so... I'll just... Just, just change it. Yeah, that's fine. It yeah. Three, like this. And now it fails. Yeah. There uh, you go, sir. So <laughs> very nice. Now I have to write the actual implementation. I think maybe I think you'll manage. I'll manage. I'll go repeat. Uh and and then the map. Mm -hmm. And then we're back to green. And so now we can actually we um, head over here to render. Render it. I'll take a look at the dump structure. So we'll have um here's our die roll. Mm -hmm. Um so we have the dice, and then we want div uh re re-rolls for re-roll and then in player it's already in oh, player it's in player mm -hmm. so I think it's re-rolls re yeah player and then we'll just do div and um, it can be used or rolling but uh, right now they're not yep so this is squiggly here we'll just go like this then Let's see. What uh, yeah, so we have to refresh because we have to have the initial events that actually produces the rerolls. It still doesn't work. <laughs> Let's try re -roll, uh, reloading, including forcing the cache in Chrome. Yes. There ah, there are. we go. And Hooray. they were rendered. They were sort of rendered before. Yeah, they're just here. They're just always. here always. <laughs> so maybe they should like appear after the dice. That would be good. So. So How would that look? We would have to wait for the dice to 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 enter. Yeah, right. Because now we're just uh, let's take a look at the uh, uh, network panel here. We can see what kind of information is being sent to the client. Um, uh, I want to look at our WebSocket, and it says uh, here it's just a bunch of stuff. So some base, there's some blah blah blah. So player hearts and so on. Mm-hmm. 
So there's no there's no uh, room for waiting. No. The reason that it's actually taking time to enter the dice to enter and so on, that's because of the CSS. Yeah. So there's a, a client side animation. Mm -hmm. So let's see if we can model that somehow. I think maybe after you add dice, you always want to wait for them to enter before you move on. Right. So we'll go into the test here. We have add dice, and then it says a search in, and then we'll just tell the client to wait for a little while. Yeah, and how, how, how long? <laughs> how long do we actually wait? Um, we could look here. At the styles, yeah. Um, There's the dice. So we have an animation timing, and it's 1.8 seconds. Okay, so it seems like an awful long time, but we'll, we'll try, mm -hmm. see what happens. I'm not sure if uh, we have actually implemented wait. I don't think so. No? This is the first time we're using it, so cool. we'll have to teach the client to understand this uh, afterwards. Sounds like a, that sounds like an episode. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so uh, adding weight 1800, I can definitely do that. Uh, I will concat and do this, I think. Yeah. There we go. And then uh, the client now needs to understand what to do when Wh it uh, waits. Yeah. I think if you were to just refresh your browser now, it would just crash horribly. Yes. It crashed, but we didn't say it. Is that something we also want to fix, maybe? Ah, I uh, think so. Okay, so we have like a <laughs> do seek with some actions, and we have a match here. And um, this is the only thing that our client knows how to do right now. It, a it, it cannot do a social. Yeah. So I guess we will do. Um, uh, do it inside, maybe. Like here? Yeah. Try. And then cache default keyword E. And then we have something to show errors already. So you just have to stuff it in. The, That's true. Just swap it into the store. Components. And it says if error. Yeah. So just uh, shove it in there. Whoop. Store soch error. And, and it's a string, I think. So we're going to do on E. Let's try that. Yeah. We can try it. And then did I? Yeah, error, no matching clause. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little bit brief, but uh, yeah, to the point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's okay. fine. <laughs> okay, I will do wait, and we will wait some milliseconds. Yeah. And that would be do and actually wait something, core async. Yeah. And after. And then after that, you'll. Uh... Recur. It'll recur. You cannot. Re this is a oh, do seek. Oh, this is a do seek. It needs to become a loop so that we can control when you continue. Yeah, I think you're right. Unless the Go macro fixes this for us, we can just. Ah, maybe you can just. Yeah, you can probably just halt here. Do you think yeah. we can do this? Yeah, I think so. Let's try it. It's worth. It's worth a shot. But, Ooh, <laughs> it did work. It did work. I th so uh, 1800 milliseconds is a little bit too long, I think. Is it? Um, there. Perfect. Yeah, okay, okay. You don't want to uh, re-roll anything before you have like a no, millisecond no, no, to see no, what it yeah. lands on. Yep. Yeah, so uh, well done, Go Macro. Yeah. <laughs> um, so long as nothing bad happens, it's well done, Go Macro. <laughs> yeah, but we even have a try catch. <laughs> Everything is going to go great. Yeah. Okay. Um, maybe this is the episode, and this next is time episode, we will yeah. actually press these and send something to the server and so on. Yeah, according to our script here on the side, this was exactly what we planned to do. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Until next time. Bye bye. Bye bye.